Andrew. Hi. It's Dr. Matt. Nice to meet you. So, we have a 4 o'clock appointment. Thank you for being on time. Can you please verify your date of birth? January 31st. Perfect. Okay, and is your address still the same? Yes, that's correct. Wonderful. So, tell me what brings you in. What's the problem? My right eye feels a little puffy and just uh, have a little bit of pain in the eyelid. Okay, and when did this all start? It started uh, this morning when I woke up. Okay. Went to sleep, was perfectly fine, I didn't have any issues. Sort of woke up like this. I see. Do you think you've done something special in the last couple of days? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Are you... Do you have any allergies? No, no allergies. No allergies? I see here that you're allergic to strawberries. Is that still accurate? Yes. Okay, so no allergies to, to medications. Okay, were you stung by a bee or anything? No, I mean, I just sort of woke up. I don't know, I woke up like this. Okay. Has this ever happened to you before? No. Okay. First time. Got you. Um, are you experiencing any blurry vision? No, no blurry vision, no, no issues with vision. Okay, any pain in your um, eyes? Uh, so I have a little bit of pain in the right eye, but that's really about it. Okay, on a scale of 0 to 10, how bad is it? 1, at the worst, it's about 2. Okay, and are you having any ear problems? No, no ear problems. Okay, no ringing, no headaches? No, no. Okay, good. Have you ever had any problems with your hearing? And do you wear contacts or glasses? I do not. Okay. Perfect. So, in that case, we're going to do an ear and eye exam because sometimes the ears can be affected if you have some eye problems and back and forth, like if you have some, um, you know, eye disorders, your ears can be affected as well. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to prepare this form for you. And if you can please sign for me here. And this allows me to do the full examination of your eyes and your ears. Okay. I'm going to take your temperature. This is just going to go on your forehead and underneath your ear. Okay, great. Your temperature is normal. And we're going to measure your oxygenation. So we're going to put this on your finger. This measures how much oxygen your lungs can, um, can get in your body. So it's 97% oxygenation on room air and your heart rate is 85, so it's perfectly normal. Okay. Next, I'm going to take your blood pressure. It's going to go on your arm. Okay, so I'm just going to put this right here and it's going to give you a big squeeze. Very 
good. Her blood pressure is on the low side. But I think that this might be normal for you. Right? It was uh, 110 over 60, so it's not too low, but I'm just going to take this. to listen to your heart if that's okay. Just gonna put this underneath your shirt. extra sounds. Your heart sounds absolutely normal, very calm and very relaxed. Good. Okay, now we're going to listen to your lungs. So take a deep breath in. Good. Good. Very good. Just try to be as relaxed as possible. Everything sounds normal. I'm going to listen to the back. Just move forward for me, please. Take a deep breath in. Good. Okay. Bilateral lungs sound clear. I'm going to touch the upper part of the eye very slowly and gently. Definitely tell that this eyelid is swollen. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to look up and I'm going to lower the eyes. Take a look. Go ahead and look up for me, please. Okay, sorry. No, that is very uncomfortable. So okay. This one is Definitely very red. Okay. Both of them are red, but the right one is most definitely a little bit more red than the other one. Now I'm just going to take a look a little bit closer with white. I'm not going to flush it in your eyes yet. I'm just looking on the side. I'm just going to raise your upper eyelid, okay, and this one, okay, perfect, just going to do that one more time, okay, good, okay, 
going to do a look inside your eye. So I'm going to ask you to open your eyes and just look straight ahead. Can you please pinch your nose and hold your breath? I want to create a little bit of pressure so that I can see better. The optic disc is definitely inflamed. Now I'm just going to take a look at the other one. Just look at me. Same thing. So I know that this one seems to be a little bit more inflamed, but both of them seem to be infected to me. with your eyes without moving your head. Okay, good. Great. Now let's go ahead and cover one eye. Right, you are? Same thing on the other side. Okay, perfect. Okay. Next, let's go ahead. We're gonna measure your pupil size. So Closer. So I'd say your pupil size is about three. Let's see if it's the same thing on this side. Three millimeters. Okay, perfect. Okay. Next, I'm going to ask you to follow the light. Okay. Look straight at me. Just follow the light only with your eyes. Any pain when you're doing that? No pain. Okay, good. Okay. Good. Now, can you please tell me how many fingers am I holding? Two fingers. Good. How many fingers am I holding? Two fingers. Great. So, can you please tell me which fingers are moving, right or left? Right. a little bit inflamed as well, just like I suspected. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look inside this ear as well. Can you please look this way? Okay. Okay, the 
this one is a little bit better. So the right ear is also inflamed, which makes me think that there's a connection between this ear and your eye. Let's see. I'm going to test your hearing. I want to make sure that your hearing is not compromised. So please let me know when you don't hear the sound anymore. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. intact. I'm going to whisper something in both ears. Um, please just say it back to me, okay? Read his numbers. necessary to treat the ear yet. I'm going to prescribe some um, eye um, drops and you're going to have to do that four times a day. One of them, we're going to do it right here in the office because I have the drops with us and we're going to give them to you as soon as you leave the office. Okay. Okay. So, let's see. to look up. That's perfect. Try to keep your eye open, but I'm going to help you anyway. This is going to be one, two, three, and four drops. And try not to touch the tip of this bottle with your eyes because then you're going to take the infection and put it in in the bottle and if you switch eyes you're going to transmit that infection to the other eye so i'm going to do the same thing one two three and four okay so remember you have to do this four times there it is thank you you're welcome and if you're having a lot of pain, you can go ahead and take some Tylenol, but um, the infection should resolve in about seven days. If you're still having swollen eyelid uh, or you're getting worse, just um, remember that you can call us. Uh, you can make another visit or you can go to an urgent care and they can help you out as well. Okay, thank you so much for coming in tonight.